Lummi Island Wild is named after Lummi Island, where we operate one of the most selective and sustainable fisheries on the planet. This fishery dates back more than a millennia with the tribe, Lummi Nation, other Salish tribes that uh, would weave cedar bark and eelgrass to do this result, and it was in a dugout canoe. And the fishery is basically the same today. It's a little bit larger boats. They're now run off of solar power. The salmon school would be swimming in. They'd hit that artificial reef where they'd shallow up a little bit. And eventually they swim over the top of a small net. And when that happens, we stand in towers looking down on the water. There's a big commotion, go, go, go. And we lift up that net from underneath of them. The reason that reef netting is so sustainable is because all those fish come in alive. They gently get spilled in our outside boat where they go into a live well and start swimming again. We protect that high quality, that high fat content that are in these fish. We pick up the fish, we cut a gill, we put it into the other side of our live well uh, where it hasn't struggled in a net building up adrenaline uh, or other struggle hormones. It goes immediately on slush ice, gets custom processed and frozen fresh. And that's the way it stays until it gets packed in a box and delivered to doorsteps throughout the country. Our customers want to know where their fish comes from. We started just doing reef netting, but our customers also said, hey, what about some of these other fish uh, from the Sailor Sea? So we started working with our tribal partners, quality focused, uh, Lummi fishers and other Northwest Treaty tribes, and that was to access halibut spot prawns, Dungeness crab, uh, some of the richness from the Salish Sea, but with that came complexity about traceability. Traceability essentially just boils down to know who, what, when, where the fish are coming from and where they're moving to. Every time the fish move anywhere, once they come off the water, once they go down our custom processing line, once they go into cold storage, each one of those steps we want to document and understand exactly what is moving. Trace Register gives us that so that we can prove and document everything, uh, every step in the process. The whole idea is simply that we've worked really hard to catch uh, the best seafood out there, maintain that quality, and we want to make sure that it maintains that uh, throughout every step in the process and we know exactly what's moving and how.